So it looks as though after a little bit of a delay, we're finally ready for the puck to drop. Everyone is in position, the crowd are in their seats. And hopefully they'll be on the edge of their seats for tonight's contest. The Steelers win the first draw, first possession for Gord Baldwin. Now Cullinetti plays it forward. Phillips couldn't touch it on, and this is where the Stingrays will look to profit. Neutral zone turnovers becoming into break opportunities. Now room for Chilcott. Off the end boards, but there's no Stingray on the far side of the ice. Possession back with the visitors. Mosienko goes ring wide, looking for Dowd. Dowd is onto it. Played it against Pasha. Davis plays it to the near side boards. Knox shielded the puck with his body. Chilcott chopped it out of the zone. Knox is quick. Baldwin had the reach to knock it away. Eddie turns up ice. Galbraith across to meet him. And Galbraith cuts him off. And that allows Pasha to move the puck away. That puck did cross the line before Fretter brought it back in. So the first whistle of the game is an offside call. Switching it to Galbraith. Backhander on goal. And Doyle had his angles just right. Wow. Oh, an attempt from Lowe's on the side of the goal. Doyle lost his balance with the puck still live. That was an awkward moment. And this one is going to be icing if Osman can win the race, and he can't. And the Steelers nearly turned it into a chance, and the Stingrays could break in as the Steelers got themselves into a bit of a mess making a line change. And using the stick to save was Doyle. Oh, wide open is Dowd, and Brown's made the save. What a position he took up, and the puck fell to him perfectly on the forehand. And he tried to snapshot it top shelf, and Brown got a glove to it. Two big chances for Robert Dowd. Is the Stingrays going to get called for icing here? David Brown has been in good form the last few weeks. As he kicks this one away, he can't keep that one out from Fretter. Off the pad and into the goal. The Sheffield Steelers get the opener. And the away support behind that goal. They're joyous. They could be in for another one here. Wah wow, tries to get it to Fretter. And it's all got tangled up in front of Brown. Now Galbraith. On to Meyer, good check by Thomas coming across. Oh, and then losing out with Baldwin. Oh, there's a penalty coming against the Sheffield Steelers. Brown's on his way for the extra attacker. Is Jameson shooting, saving but not holding, and then the whistle goes. And it's a slashing minor, and the Stingrays are going to go on the power play. Well, that goal hasn't settled the game down at all. Bouncing around, it skips over Lozon. And now the speed down the ice from Mosienko and the save made by Brown. Puck is in the crease and it's cleared away by Davis. What a scramble. Play still continues. Stingray still with power play time, they'll make a line change. Steelers will look to transition. Here it comes down. Pasha turns him away from goal. Oh, there's going to be a penalty. Pasha is going to go as he took out Dowd on the way past. It's going to be an interference minor. Certainly going to be two minutes for Omar Pasha. Of oh, Brown. O'Connor to the side of the goal. Forney, war on the backhand, and the save is made. Brown scrambled across and kicked it away. Early stages of the power play, producing a couple of shooting chances. Stingrays get a momentary breather. And Forney has gone a little too soon. Pass across was blocked once and then twice. The puck doesn't get out of the zone. Dow can move it on. He'll get it back. He'll hit it. The save is made. The rebound is put in. It's War again on the doorstep. So many times he's done that for the Steelers this season. 
and he's got a five on three power play goal and doubled the Steelers' advantage. Pick it up and they'll try and use their speed coming forward. It's persistent from Havato and he's drawn a penalty from Thomas and Eddie's not happy. We had a little set to with the Anturco last time here and Frederick's wading in. What was that about goodwill to all men? Not here, not tonight. So it looks as though the original penalty was on Thomas. We wait to see if there's any extras handed out. Frederick certainly wanted to get involved. Pushing and shoving and words exchanged with Bois. Eddie was not a happy chappy either. Oh, that was a dangerous pass. Dowd's onto it. Tries to play it back. Oh, and Forney moves it across for Brown. That's a superb save. David Brown got across. Wow, unleashed one. Stingray's a little too predictable as they came out of their own zone. The cross ice pass picked up by Dowd. There'll be a late chance for the Steelers. Dowd again. Oh, this one's off target. Not quite worked out for Robert Dowd in this first period. Tanaka goes for the long shot as time ticks down. And the period expires. With the Sheffield Steelers two goal lead intact. So getting ready now for the drop of the puck to start the second period. Steelers going with the Mosienko Dowd Phillips line that is so productive during that first period. That's the visitors in white who have first possession in the second. Eddie sends it all around the outside by Phillips in the far corner. Pass forward, oh, and Osmond didn't get the block onto it. Opportunity moving in, and missing was Hill. Big chance for Phil Hill. Onto his backhand and never really got the shot away. And that one from Bois is saved. And they also have Robert Dowd out of the box, so straight into the play. The big shot from Bois, Dowd from the angle! He's had several goes tonight, he's finally made it count. Out of the penalty box and onto the score sheet. Nine on the season for Robert Dowd. It'll be an even strength goal. And the Sheffield Steelers, who dominated the shot count and the scoreboard in the first period. Look like they're well on their way to two points here tonight. A three goal lead. And we're not yet at the halfway stage. Long pass out, and it's going to be gathered in by Lozon. Opportunity for Carl Lozon. Oh, and Doyle's made the save. There's a penalty coming in. It's a hooking call against the Steelers. Lozon is left frustrated. Lozon. Snacker again. Davis is low, Fredericks in the slot, Pasha's moving in! The player coach has his first of the season. Pasha has a power play goal. The long road back for the whole Stingrays is underway. Thanks to their player coach. Power play that had everybody involved. And you can see Pasha sneaking in and the shot that goes along the ice and through the five hole of Frank Doyle. The play goes on, it'll come back to Pasha. Loves to shoot, he does, and the blocker save from Doyle. Doyle doesn't get past Pasha. Galbraith knocks it down. Galbraith shoots! Galbraith scores! the big goal. Baldwin. Still got Baldwin, back to Cullen Eddy. 
Through traffic, saved by Brown and over the line. Ruas done it again. He's unstoppable from that position. Two on the night. And Matthew Waugh. He's made his living there all season. And this one just trickled over the line. But just will do for the Sheffield Steelers. And their fans breathing a sigh of relief. As that one just makes it across the goal line. Also an equaliser for Brayhead. Scored by Keith. It's time here for the Stingrays. And Avato shot. Draws the kick save from Doyle. Just got a toe onto it. It's time for the Steelers here through Mosienko. They have to get it away quickly. Oh, and it's saved by Brown. That would have counted. There was time left. And Brown with a scrambling save. Keeps the scoreline within reach for the Stingrays. At the end of the period. And teams will go to the locker room with the Steelers as they were at the end of the first, two goals in front. Puck drops, the third is underway. Possession with Gord Baldwin. He'll gain the red and just chip it in. It'll be interesting to see how well the Steelers do closing this game out. They did a good job in the third period last night, controlling the game, letting the clock run, really limiting the Stingrays chances to get back into the contest. They ice the game late on. It's Galbraith, first of the puck from the face-off. Got absolutely no support with him. He's trying to do it all himself and he's pulled down. And he's taken the net and Doyle and Eddie out all in one. And it's going to be a holding minor. And we're going to skate four on four. Davis didn't drop that off where Tanaka was expecting it. And Pasha has had this one taken from him by Dowd. Rua, oh, what a shot that was on the turn. That's fantastic. That was something very special. Turn and hit one out of the air like that. The Steelers have crowded around and knocked it away, and they've got a two-on-one break. Opportunity, and Brown has made the save. Out again, denied. Tanaka. Knox goes towards the goal. Lozon trails! Lozon scores! The Rays have got the goal they need. And they've set up a grandstand finish. Breaking with speed as the Stingrays do so well. It was the trail man, Lozon, who got onto it. went straight to the top of the crease and then the side of the goal and took the attention away from Lozon who slammed it in out of the box is Tanaka we are five on five but we're inside the final few seconds and Phillips has taken it away from Osman and he's just going to play keep away keep it as far away from Frank Doyle's goal as possible Baldwin to Mosienko, the seconds are ticking away, there's no time left for the Stingrays to get it to the other end. The Sheffield Steelers are winners here by four goals to three on a Sunday night. And the Teddy Toss, the charity, can begin. So the Bears come flying onto the ice, but not on the ice in celebration. It is a home defeat for the Holsting race. And a good weekend for the Sheffield Steelers in contrast. Two victories over the Holsting race. Keep them top of the Elite League. And what a double header it sets up with the Nottingham Panthers on Boxing Day and the 27th. The Stingrays move on from here to take on the Edinburgh Capitals. That's the next game we have for you on Hull Stingrays TV on the 27th, Saturday the 27th. It's a 6.30 face-off. Stingrays taking on the Edinburgh Capitals.